we are going to be using the retouching academy to retouch this photo from start to finish i'll explain and show you how you can correctly use the focus separation inside the retouching academy and some other useful tools that can help you retouch your image inside the retouching academy let's jump right into it so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate my layer by pressing on ctrl j so after duplicating my background layer i'm going to come to my retouching academy right here and click on focus separation via gaussian blur you can use media blur it works the same way so i'm going to click on focus separation via gaussian blur now pay close attention for the blur radius if you want your image to be smooth use a low blur radius but if you want to retain textures on your image use a high blur radius so you can just play with the blur radius and see what works for you but for me i want to use a blur radius of 10 to retouch this image right here and click on ok now the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to remove the blemishes so i'll click on my high frequency texture layer right here which is this first one the high frequency texture copy layer which is this first one right here then i'll pick my close stamp tool i'm just going to zoom in remember we want to remove the blemishes so once i zoom in make sure your mood is set to normal opacity is set to 100 flow is set to 100 and you're using a soft round brush so to remove the blemishes just press alternate on your keyboard to sample or option if you're using a mac i just paint over any blemishes you want to remove just like that so sample and just paint over the blemishes you want to remove and you can zoom in increase your brush size by pressing on square bracket key to increase and decrease your brush size all right so just take your time to clean up your image you don't have to rush this process it's very very important when retouching take your time to clean your image all right so i'm going to remove the blemishes from this image right now and remember alternate to sample and just paint over any blemishes you want to remove and also make sure you are increasing and decreasing your brush size according to the blemishes you want to remove so if you want to remove a bigger blemishes use a big brush size if you want to remove a small blemishes use a small brush size also i'm going to paint all this eye bag right here just to remove these parts and just make everything look even and blend okay so like i said earlier just take your time to remove the blemishes for your image because it's the base and it's very 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 important okay now after we finish removing the blemishes let's see the before and after this is the before and the after just take a look the before and the after also for the face the before and the after so please if you are doing this make sure you take your time to actually remove blemishes and by the way if you want to follow along i'll be leaving the link where you can get this welfare in the description below so right now i'm going to use my mixer brush to smooth out the color of this image so to do that i'll come back to my creative tone right here and just hide this high frequency texture layer so you can see right now we only have the colors on this image and the textures are no longer visible so i'm going to pick my mixer brush tool and for my mixer brush settings i'm using a soft round brush okay make sure this clean brush after each stroke is selected my weight is on 30 my load is on 20 my mix is on 90 mix always really matter and my flow is on 30 and this place right here is 10 and sample layer is selected because we are working on this corrective tone which is an empty layer but if you are working directly on the low frequency color art tones, you don't have to sample this all layer. You can just work on it directly. But since we are working on this corrective tone, make sure sample all layer is selected. So to brush, I'm just going to zoom in and I'm just going to brush the highlight separately, the middle separately, and the shadow separately. I just try to brush this one. Right and if you are brushing, just brush according to the shape of the face. Make sure you are increasing and decreasing your brush size according to the part of the image you are actually brushing on. So if I want to work on this highlight right here, I'm going to take my brush size small to fit that highlight right there and just brush on only that highlight. And also if I want to work on this place, I'm just going to increase my brush size to fit that place. So basically, I'm just increasing and decreasing my brush size according to the place I'm working on. Now you can see this small highlight right here. You can see how small my brush size is because I want to work on this highlight right here. So I just decrease my brush size to fit only that highlight right there. And please... Don't brush highlights into shadow and don't brush shadows into highlights. It's very, very, very important. All right? So just keep practicing, keep playing. As you keep doing it, you are going to get better at it. All right? So I'm just going to brush this image right now and quickly show you the before and after. So I'm going to brush this place like this. Brush this highlight separately. Okay? Now let me quickly show you the before and after so you can have an idea of what I'm trying to do. All right? So if I just turn on this high frequency texture layer again, and just zoom in you are going to see the effect so this is the before and the after the before and the after you can see the image is smooth and we still have textures all right so i'm going to continue doing this for the whole of the image so you can see all right we're done so let's quickly see the before and after this is the before and the after the before and the after you can see the image is looking smooth 
and we still have the textures next i'm going to do i'm going to use micro dodge and bone to try just even as the colors even more so i'll come to my retouching academy click on dodge bone curves right here all right so you can see we have this layer right here is the hair player to allow us to see where to dodge and where to burn so i'll just come to my dodge i'll just pick my normal brush tool take the flow to two percent all right so from here i'm just going to dodge this particular place right here just to brighten it up so dodge means to bright and bone means to darken so if I want to brighten this particular place right here, I feel it's looking a bit too dark. So I'm going to just paint on it just to brighten it up a little bit. Now, I feel this part right here looking a bit too bright. So I'm just going to burn it just like this, just to make that place blend even more. Also, this um, eye bag right here, I'm just going to burn it because I feel it's looking a bit too bright. So I'm just going to burn it. Okay, do the same thing for this side. Just going to burn it even more like so. Also for the nose, I feel it's looking too too dark, so I'm going to dodge it. So I'll come to my dodge and just paint on this nose right here, just to dodge this particular place. All right. So let's see the before and after. This is the before and the after. The before and the after. And I feel this place is looking too bright, so I'm just going to burn it a little bit like so. All right. So let's see. Let me just turn off this visual aid so you can see the colored version. All right. So this is the before and this is the after. Just take a look at the eye bag and this part and this part right here the before and the after looking so much better so you can just take your time to do this for the whole of the image all right so that's how micro dodge ball works now to do global dodge ball for this image i'm going to come to my dodge ball curves again i'm just going to click on it i'm just going to load this time i'm going to delete this visual aid open my dodge ball layer again come to the dodge this time i'm just going to paint on the highlights part separately with a flow of two and using the white brush, I'm going to paint only on the highlights just to make the highlights a little bit brighter. All right, just like this. And do the same thing for the body just to make it a little bit brighter. And do the same thing for the lips, like so. Do the same thing for this part right here. You can see the highlight is a little bit more brighter. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Now for the darken, I'm just going to come to the bone and just paint on the shadow area just to add depth to the image all right so i'm going to paint on these parts like this just to add depth to the image under the um, neck like that and also this part right here okay all right so let's see the other one after of the global the jump bar. so this is the before and the after the before and the after looks so much better now let me show you how you can actually make the eyes white so to do that just come to this magic eyes right here inside the touching academy just click on it once that loads, just open the group and just scroll the way down to this clean eyes right here with the normal boys to select make sure your focus color is set to white because the layer mask is on black and just take your flow back to 100 percent and just paint on the white part of the eyes just to clean up the eyes and just make it white like that so you can see just like this and do the same thing for these other eyes just like this okay so see the before and the after the before and the after if you feel it's too much just come to your opacity and just reduce the opacity of the white all right now if you want to change the color of this makeup on the eyes or the eye color all you have to do is come to this change color right here and just paint on any way you want to change so if you want to change the color of the eyes all after this just paint on the eyes right here and just going to change the color paint on this other side right here i just going to change the color now if you feel you paint it inside the white just switch to your black brush by pressing x on your keyboard and just remove it from where you don't want it to affect just like that now to change the color just click on this hue and saturation right here you can double click on it and just going to open the properties and just move the hue like this to change the color to whichever color you actually want all right now if you want to change this makeup on the face all you have to do is just paint on the makeup so i'm going to duplicate this layer right here press up ctrl j duplicate it after i duplicate it i'm just going to switch to a white brush and just paint on this color right there just to change the color if i want to do that all right so do the same thing for this side if i want to do that and if i want to change the color i'm just going to click on this place right here and just play with the hue and saturation like we did earlier and see which color you want also you can do the same thing for the lips just paint the colors on the lips and just going to change the lips color but i'm not going to do that i'm going to delete this one right here all right so that this works for me also i'm going to delete the color i added to the eyes and just bring back the original eyes color all right so let's see the before and after this is the before and the after for the eyes the before and the after 
Let me show you how you can actually even add the skin to using the retouching academy. So open the retouching academy again and just click on this magical skin tone right here. And once that loads, all you have to do is just paint on the skin tone. All right. So just use your white brush on on these black marks. Just paint on only the skin. All right. Just paint on all the skin. It's as if you're not doing anything right now. But if you want to see what you are doing so you can actually paint better, all you have to do is just open this group. And from here, just change the color to any color first. So just change it to any color so that you can actually see that you are painting on the skin and we're going to come back and change the color again. All right. So I'm going to paint on only the skin. Don't paint on the lips. Don't paint on the eyes. Just paint on only the skin. All right. For me, now that I've successfully selected the colors on the skin, just come back to this color right here again. And just from here, just pick any color you want your skin tone to look like. So if I take it up, you can see the way the color is. So I really don't like it. So I'm going to take it down a little bit. Let's see. All right. Let this work for me. Let's see the before and after. So this is the before and the after. Just take a look at the skin tone. The before and the after. And from here, if you feel it's too much, you can just reduce the opacity. So just come to this group and just reduce the part from 100%. Just take it down until you feel it's looking okay. So technique works for me, see the before and see the after. The before and the after. So that's how you can even out your skin tone using the Retouching Academy. Now let me quickly group everything and show you what we did so far so you can see the before and after. All right. So this is where we started from. You can see the way the image is looking and this is what we did using the Retouching Academy. The before and the after. The before and the after. I hope you find this video useful. And if you want to watch more Retouching Academy tutorial, check out this playlist right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.